During the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset, breaking it with a meal called iftar. Since Bill Clinton in 1996, every American president has hosted iftars at the White House. After breaking with this tradition in 2017, President Donald Trump hosted his second iftar on Monday. Ramadan is a time when people join forces in pursuit of hope, tolerance, and peace. It is in this spirit that we come together tonight. The guest list included diplomats from Muslim-majority countries, but absent from the gathering, representatives from the American Muslim community. American Muslim groups say they would not have attended even if invited. They say they feel targeted by the president's rhetoric and policies. We have seen unprecedented uh, hate against Muslims because Islamophobia has been legitimized and normalized through this president and his administration's policies. They cite Trump's multiple executive orders restricting immigrants from Muslim-majority countries and his tweets attacking Muslim lawmakers Ilhan Omar and Rashida Talib, whom he accused of being anti-Semitic. Muslim groups call these attacks divisive. He's trying to use Jews against Muslims. He's trying to use Christians against Jews and Muslims. And we all have to be smart and just work together because we have a lot in common. We love each other. We may disagree over some politics, but overall, we are one community. We are Americans. At the dinner, Trump spoke about grief over recent attacks around the world against Muslim, Christians, and Jews and called for peace. Let us ask God to forever shine his goodness and blessings upon us. And let us continue to work together to build a future filled with hope and goodwill for our children and for all of the people of the world. Trump called members of the diplomatic corps present at the Iftar his friends and cherished partners. President Trump uh, really uh, gave a lot of attention on uh, some of the uh, situations uh, taking place in many parts of uh, the Middle East and other uh, parts of the world uh, that are very much uh, a concern uh, of the U.S. Despite tense relations with the nation's Muslim community, Trump closed his remarks by saying America is a nation founded on the belief that citizens of all faiths can live together. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.